Hello, and welcome to the final part of our electrical journey. In this section, we're going to look at how electricity gets from where it's generated to where it's being used. Transformers and the National Grid When we switch on a plug at home, the electricity that we use comes to us from power generators all over the country. Drax Power Station is one such generator. But, have you ever thought how it all works? How is electricity able to travel long distances? And what makes it move from where it is made to where it is going to be used? Well, the answers to these questions lie in things called transformers? No, transformers and the National Grid. OK, tell me more! To understand how it all fits together, we need to know a bit about electricity first. There are a couple of things to begin with. Firstly, electricity is a form of energy. This means that we can use it to do things for us. Secondly, Electricity exists in two states, static electricity and current electricity. Static electricity is what you create when you rub a balloon with a woolly jumper and use it to pick up small pieces of paper. As its name suggests, it doesn't move, so even though it's energy, it won't make your TV work. But current electricity does move. We say it flows. Some people think of current electricity like water flowing from one place to another. And the fact that it flows is really useful because we can move it from where it is generated, for example at the power station, to where it is used, such as our homes, shops, museums and football stadia. So it's current electricity that's in our plug sockets at home, but we need transformers to get it there. So, what does a transformer do? I'm glad you asked. Transformers change or transform what's called the voltage of the electricity made by power generators. Some transformers make the voltage higher, whereas others make it lower. Now this is really, really useful because being able to change the voltage means we can make it higher to move the electricity around the country, then gradually make the voltage lower so it's safe to use in our homes. This diagram shows where the voltage of the electricity is raised and lowered. As you can see, the voltage is raised immediately after it is generated and lowered before it enters our homes. Did you know transformers that increase voltage are called step-up transformers? Those that decrease voltage are called step-down transformers. OK, what's voltage then? Good question. To be of use to us, we need to get the electricity to move from where it's generated to where it's being used. Think of it as needing a push. Voltage is a measure of the amount of push that is given to electricity to make it move. And to put it simply, the higher the voltage, the greater the push. For example, on an AA battery, it says 1.5V or 1.5 volts. 1.5 volts is a tiny amount of push. Now, that's fine for a TV remote control, but not enough to move electricity over hundreds of miles across the UK. To do that, we need a much higher voltage, and that can only come from power stations with huge transformers. Did you know 
The term vault comes from the name of the Italian scientist Alessandro Volta. He lived from 1745 to 1827 and is believed to have invented the battery. What's National Grid then? Another good question. The National Grid is a giant web of wires getting electricity from power generators to homes and businesses everywhere. It's a system of cables and transformers that covers the UK and connects power stations to anyone who is using their electricity. You've probably seen pylons in the countryside. Here's a photo of one. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a pylon. Here's a pylon. These are used to hold wires along which the electricity is transmitted around the country. In our towns and cities, the electricity moves along wires which are buried underground, rather than along pylons. The electricity flows along the wires, and to make it move more efficiently, the grid needs the high voltage that we mentioned earlier. The National Grid also needs to make sure there's enough electricity for all of us to use, so they need to predict times when more electricity is required, such as when people get up in the morning, when they come home from school or work, and when it starts to get dark or cold outside. So there you are. Hopefully now you understand how electricity is generated at Drax Power Station and how it gets to your home. But before you go, try our quiz and see how much you can remember. Thank you. Thank you.